What's up YouTube? Tim Truex here from Connection Reptiles and today I'm going to show you how I set up a brand new baby gargoyle gecko enclosure using these brand new baby gargoyle geckos that hatched last night. Look at Brody. He's just covered in substrate. It was really cold so I think he dug out here and he's sitting on this little bit of light right here. So it gets like maybe 85, 90. There it gets hot. All right, first step, you wanna get yourself one of these six quart bins from like Walmart or Target or something. They're really, really cheap. And when they're babies, it doesn't have to lock perfectly because they're not really strong enough to get out of it. They're not gonna push this up. And, but when they get older, you want something that claps, the clasps down so they can't get out. All right, now we just wanna drill some holes in here. Take your drill, drill bit. You can, uh, if you don't have a drill with a drill bit, I don't know, you can, you're humans. You can figure something out, like burn it, I don't know, do something. Now we're just gonna drill some holes. All right, now what I do is I take a razor and I just clean off the, the little bits of plastic. Yeah, I get both sides. Doing this could actually scratch it up a little bit. So you might want to be careful or not use a razor. We'll just do it carefully. I don't really care much. Just doing it fast. All right, now you gotta clean it. So you don't want any of this crap in there. All right, now what I like to do so you have the holes in it and all that is you just take paper towel which is cheap put it down um just probably spritz it make it nice and damp for them and then what i do is i take this which you can get at like michael's or whatever craft store and you can get like a bigger piece and cut it or try to find really small pieces i just stick it in like this and i like this particular piece it's dry too it needs to be moistened but that gives them a place to hide and a place to go then what I do for water is I just take the top of a water bottle, and you put it in, and then the same applies to oh, let me wet this a little bit so it stays down better. And the same applies to um, the food. With the food, I usually when they're little, I flip it like that upside down, and I put like a little dab on there because they're so tiny, like they got the, these little tiny bellies that they're not going to eat much of anything. So a little dab, put some water in there. I don't even know if they really need the water, but out for it anyway and then that's it that's the whole enclosure you know you put it in room temperature feed them every other day and that's it that's a gargoyle gecko they're that easy the way i set them up is i use this is uh it's mostly peat moss and maybe some reptile chip or whatever i uh i don't like peat moss i just have tons of it it's dusty but it really doesn't matter because they're so small that uh that they're not kicking up dust but the same, same thing applies with this. This is I, how I personally do it. Same situation, you put that in there, you moisten it, you put this in, and then you add your water dish, food dish, that's it. Same thing, you can just dampen it up. Simple, cheap, easy to do. And what's nice about this is if you have a bunch of them, you could just stack them. And then when they get older, like I said, this just scales up until you get to something like maybe large, like, like this size. Um, my adults, maybe I'll just show you. And uh, here's one of the little babies. Still got perlite on him. Put him in there and that's it. You can see he's, he's tiny. He fits in there nicely. And then put the top on. Don't run away little guy. And that's it. Safe, safe and sound. I keep them at room temperature. Or actually where I keep them in the room, I keep them in, it's like 75, 76 degrees. Sometimes 78 in the summer can get up to 80. But uh, room temperature, super easy. This guy right here is about the size that you would get him. He doesn't want to hang out. It's about the size you would get him when I ship him out to you. I'm trying to show you that even now, you can see that he's already I don't know if I can get that on camera. He's already starting to color up because it takes them, 
like a few sheds to uh, to color up. They come out drab, and then every shed they get prettier and prettier. All right, so my adults, same situation. Um, I have these things clamped down so they can't escape. Make sure they don't jump out. This one's in shed, and it's the same situation. It's basically the same thing. Just a place for them to go hide. Uh, it's deep enough where they can lay eggs, um, which she looks like she's getting ready to do soon. Water dish, food goes in there. That's it. It's simple. Super simple. I like simple. Sometimes I feel like we overcomplicate things when they don't need to be. You know, something I want to say quick too is just because you know you might want to put them in something small like that shoe box doesn't mean that you are cheap or that you don't like your animal. It's just you could buy like a small exoterra enclosure, which is glass. You can open the front up. It's easy to view them. And, you know, for you, it's probably better. But, you know, those things cost money. And then you have to turn around, shelf it, maybe forever, just sit there collecting dust, maybe try to sell it to get a bigger enclosure. You could get the bigger enclosure, the bigger exoterra, you know, front opening enclosure first. But then you just got to make sure you have a lot of hide spots because he's a little guy and uh, they get insecure. So I find that a smaller enclosure, I can really monitor them, see if they're eating, drinking, where they go to the bathroom, all that, because they are so small that even if they go to the bathroom, it could be hard to find. It could be under a leaf somewhere. So I just prefer the small enclosure where I can monitor them. And then as they get bigger, then you can offer them because then they're like almost bulletproof at that point. That being said, I actually lost a four-year-old go-go gecko this year. And it was actually two weeks before I was putting her into that, that group. And um, I think it was... She was full of eggs when she died. I think we had something to do with laying, and um, it sucked. I, she was like my favorite gargoyle gecko. She was my first gargoyle gecko. But, uh, so things do happen. But, like I said, just don't, I don't want you to think that you're being cheap by putting them in an enclosure like that, when really you're just kind of being, in my opinion, like smart financially. Well, that was the video. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Instagram or Snapchat at Connection Reptiles. Uh, I think my phone number is on my Instagram. Uh, I have a Facebook. Um, under Tim Truex. With this video, I was hoping to maybe answer some of the questions you have when you get a new gargoyle gecko. Also, this video serves as a place where I can send people who buy gargoyle geckos off of me for information on how to set them up. If you have any other questions or anything, don't be afraid to hit me up. I love answering questions. I appreciate your comments and uh, thank you for watching.